Hey guys, thanks for stopping by the Peace Garage. I'm doing some powder coating today. I thought I'd make a quick video to show you how to powder coat small parts without making a huge mess. What I've done here is I have just a small piece of bent, it's actually tin, body tin, in an in a L-shaped clamp to the tabletop. And I can hang my small parts off of the, this bracket. These are uh, door hinges for a 69 Camaro SS. Um, and I have, all, have the hinges all apart. I have them all powder coated. And the nice thing about this is I take my shop vac and I clamp it to the top to, to uh, suck up all the powder that's in the air. Do it on a tabletop and it makes a minimal amount of mess. Real easy way to do it. And uh, let me show you how it's done. Got my part already sandblasted and clean. I hook up the ground clamp on the bottom just to hold it still. I take my my gun. Got this is reflective chrome. It's chrome powder coating. I'm gonna turn on my shop vac and powder coat this baby. <laughs> ground clamp, I had a little powder work where the clamp was, suck it up, take her off with a, throw it right in the oven. I have all the parts hanging neatly and gently in the oven, fire this baby up, let them cook for a little while and I'll show you what they look like when they're done. After the powder uh, flows out and comes out of the oven, I just let them hang in the rack to let them cool down. And this is the reflective chrome. You can see it's not exactly chrome, but I'll tell you, it's, it's pretty close and it's a pretty acceptable alternative to having your parts chrome. These are just door hinges, so you don't need them super chrome. So it's a, a nice alternative. That's how easy it is to powder coat and chrome color the uh, reflective chrome from Eastwood. That's Eastwood's powder coat, their reflective chrome. That's how easy to powder coat small parts. Thanks for stopping by Pete's Garage.